Hello and welcome everyone to Walk and Talk on Onco Daily. Today our guest is Dr. Dinesh. Dr. Dinesh, can you please introduce yourself? So I am Dr. Dinesh Pendarkar. I'm a senior oncologist from India. I would put it like this for Onco Daily, a global oncologist working globally with many friends across the globe and helping oncology grow and serve the patients. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing for everyone. So we're going to take a walk and I'm going to ask you a couple of personal, fun or quick questions. Okay. Okay, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's please. get started. Yes. Let's go ahead. So the first question is, if you would have any superpower in the world possible, what would you choose and why that exact power? The power, is, one has to use the power for benefactorship. You have to help people, you have to help the society. So if I have the power, I think I will put all my might to helping people, mm -hmm. helping society. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. So which power would you choose? No, what uh, you mean? The superpower, like Superman or Invincible Man, anything you could do, like in no, the world. See, any power, see, ultimately, even if you have a power, you'll be using one in one direction, one way. The power has, you have to use power to help. That's all the power you okay, need. The power to help. You already have that. Yeah, but still. <laughs> If this power is better. I wish everybody has this power. Oh, sorry. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. That's a really good answer. Yeah. <laughs> so the second question. If you could be fluent in any language in the world overnight, what language would you choose? You don't know Russian, English, a bit of Armenian, I guess. Yeah, but then probably Spanish. Spanish. Why Spanish? Though? Why Spanish? Because probably after English, it is one of the most spoken languages. Mm. So there are more people communicating in Spanish. in Spanish. So I think that would be the next language. Okay. Um, what's something that you have on yourself 24-7? Something that you never put down? Like an object or something? I think 24 by 7, I'm on in attending anything and anybody. Yeah, I'm so I, like an object, like a phone or a or a watch, something that you keep on yourself, no matter what. I do you have something like that? I no, don't you think, don't. No. Why is that? Do you think? Because I, I don't think it's required. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I don't keep phone with me. Uh -huh. It's away. I don't keep watch with me. It's fine. Yeah, okay. You're a very simple person. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy. With, <laughs> I'm happy with nothing. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. If you could have dinner with three famous people, would it be dead or alive? Who would you choose to invite to your dinner? A tough question. Mm -hmm. But I personally feel there have been people who have really changed or influenced the world. And probably there's a lot to learn from them. And many such people which have really changed the world and definitely i would like to be sit with them to listen to them to understand there had been a lot of influences i would anyone you can name anyone the steve jobs for example oh he whatever see if you see his life journey we know where he started where he ended so there was something in him, yeah. and when you, I, I never met him, but when you see, and when you see his lectures, or the, he's a very simple man. Still, with when he started, probably he had nothing, and with his philosophies, his ideologies, or whatever way he did it, he could really change the world. Yeah, he did change the world. Yeah. So I think that there's one person okay. I would like. Steve Jobs, who else? Anyone that comes to your mind? That probably I think that's the only I would comes to my mind. Okay, so there would be you and Steve on the dinner. Yeah, <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. Do you have a vivid memory from your childhood? Something that never leaves your mind, or something that keeps popping up once in a while? Uh, probably, it's really a tough question because I really. I really don't remember, to be very frank. There's nothing which I recollect again and again. <laughs> no. Okay. 
Um, what's is there one word that you can describe yourself? If if someone asks you to describe yourself in one word, what would that word be? One word probably would be, and that's what people talk to me and say about. The one word is yes, yes to everything. There's nothing called no in my life. And you can describe yourself as someone who never. There's there's nothing says which no. I never say no. There's nothing which cannot be done. So and I believe in it. And uh, everybody who knows me also knows this, that if there is a task, my answer would be yes, it can be done, irrespective. And I believe in it. Someone that could, anyone can depend on them. Yeah, anything. So, so you're dependable. Absolutely, Let's go with that one. absolutely, Is that okay? absolutely, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you share a significant experience from your life that has um, changed the way that you? maybe see the world or act in a way? Yeah, definitely. So my training comprised of sitting with people of all caste and creed. Mm -hmm. So I had Latinos sitting beside me, I had Africans sitting beside me, I had Armenians sitting beside me, the Georgians, the Russians. So this has actually shaped me. Mm -hmm. So for me, whole world is a one world, and I'm walking to any community, any country, any society. I think this experience of mine of going through this training has really helped me a lot. And probably that is one of the reasons I keep traveling and keep closely working with the people. And I'm really happy to do that. I think all of them are happy as well to be working with yeah. you. We are, I am especially. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, do you have a role model? Like everyone growing up have someone that you come to and try to be like them, right? Do you have one or do you still have one? No, I don't have a role model because what I personally feel, there are so many people who teach you. Mm. So there could be a no one model. Everybody is a model for you because somebody does teach you something, a small or a big man, and there is to learn from everybody. And so I take everybody as a my model, and I do learn from everyone. I know my friends in various countries. When I look at them, the way they work, you have to learn. Everybody teaches you something, and I think that's the way to go. That learn from everybody because everybody has a teach, is there has something to teach you. Yeah, definitely. I do agree. <laughs> so the humans are. Teachers. Yes. A role model could be anyone or everyone. Yes. Right. Good. And I think the last question for today would be what motivates you? What drives you to do what you're doing and keep doing it? So, what drives me yeah. is when you work like this, you can feel the change, you can feel the satisfaction on the people you are working with. You can feel that satisfaction and that satisfaction keeps you pushing, doing it more and more. Because if you have come somewhere, you have spoken to somebody, you can see on his face, you can read that he is really happy interacting with you. He has maybe learned something from you. He is happy sitting with you. So this motivation of fulfillment or probably pushes you to work mm -hmm. more in that fashion. and. All said and done, all of us need a support. I may be extremely good, but I still need a support. So somebody else is also maybe very good, but he still needs a support. Maybe just pampering, maybe just listening that, yes, you are on the right path. Even this may be good for him. So this, probably the satisfaction which keeps you pushing up and up and up. So the satisfaction of doing something and then getting a feedback. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, that's, I think that's very beautiful. I think Whatever you're doing, what you're doing right now, helping out people, what all of uh, the people that we've interviewed and we will interview in the future doing is such a, such a great deed and it has an impact on so many people. Thank you so much for what thank you're you doing. Thank you very much. Thank you, you very much. Thank you for uh, agreeing to do this interview with me. And 
Hopefully we'll see each other again. But this is, for, this is it for today. Thank you very much. So thank you everyone for watching. It thank was you. Dr. Dinesh, our guest for today. Stay tuned for the future interviews. Bye. Thank you.